In this video, I'll show you how to use the power hand function within the edit play style window to quickly change the sound and focus of the groove. We're in the decades expansion library for Superior Drummer 3, and I'm going to load the fat tape preset, which brings in a specific mix configuration. And I'm going to go to the parts preset and load the 1980s rock and fusion kit, which is a pearl kit that sounds really nice with this fat tape mixer. We're gonna go into to the grooves menu and I've already selected a groove from the modern pop grooves MIDI pack. We're going to use this first bridge selection. So I'll drag it into my song track. Now on this one I'm going to push the tempo. This is kind of a high energy groove and so we'll bump it up just a bit. Now I do want to add a fill at the very end and we're going to use this very last fill, number 22. It's a busier fill, but we're going to make some adjustments to that as well. So I'll drag that in at the very end. Now we're going to go into edit play style. You can hit the E key or double click or get there from the right click menu. And let's just listen to the last half of this groove so you can hear it along with the fill. And again, note that the power hand is currently on the ride symbol. Right, so let's make some adjustments to the main portion of the groove first. Now, very quickly, we could change this from a ride-focused groove to a hi-hat-focused groove by simply moving the power hand. We're going to move it over to the hi-hat. And we can change the hi-hat articulation to more of an open sound very quickly, too, by changing the articulation. If we move it back to the ride symbol, maybe we liked that better, but it's currently using the bell shank. Maybe we want to use the edge of the ride symbol, get more symbol wash. We can do that with the articulation selection. So notice I very quickly went from the ride symbol to the hi-hat back to the ride symbol using the power hand function in edit play style. And now I've changed the articulation to the edge And maybe I want even more cymbal wash. I can move the power hand to a crash cymbal. And lastly, another option would be to move it to a tom. Now we could move it to the floor tom, this very first one, which would work fine. And this will be more of a floor tom centered groove. But notice we are already using this floor tom within this MIDI block, within this groove. And the way I know that, not only do I have a visual of it being played, if I move this back to the ride symbol, for example, I'm going to see the visual that this floor tom is being used. But because it's highlighted, I know in the edit play style, it's also being used. Now I'm going to take the power hand. I want to go back to a tom, use a tom groove, but... I want to move it down to this other floor tom. Notice now that becomes active. That was not used before, so we're going to use a lower pitched floor tom and allow the original play of the MIDI to remain. And now we're adding this floor tom. Originally being played on the ride cymbal, move it straight down to a drum that we weren't even using. And now we have a floor tom groove leveraging the lowest floor tom as the focus that was once the ride cymbal. Now I just gave you several different methods to quickly change the focus of the groove and really the entire sound and feel of the groove just by changing the power hand and also adjusting some of the articulations. You could utilize this on different sections of a song in your song track. So for intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, any section you want, you could take the same groove and by simply adjusting the power hand, you have all of these options at your disposal. Now, remember we had a fill and if we take a listen to the fill, we're using the same crash that we're starting with. So we have two crashes in a row. I could change the opening hit to be on a different crash symbol. Let's move it over to the smaller crash. 
that's an option. But we're gonna do something a little bit more unique here. I'm gonna keep the opening hit on the crash cymbal for the main groove. And this fill that's also utilizing that crash cymbal, I'm going to change the articulation to a muted hit. So it's almost like the drummer's doing this fill and they end with a muted hit. They hit a crash cymbal, mute it with their hand, and they're right back in to the groove. Let's take a listen to the whole thing. And I'm gonna leave this main groove using the power hand on the floor tom. So there's a variety of ways that you can utilize the power hand as a means to change the focus and the sound of your MIDI grooves very quickly, all within the edit play style window within Superior Drummer 3.